Hi everyone, I'm Amanda Howell. I'm the business librarian here at UW-Whitewater and today I'm going to talk to you about citing using APA style. In this video we're going to focus on citing articles. There are other videos for citing books and for citing websites. These are the three sources you're most likely to use during your time here at UW-Whitewater. It's important that you give credit to others for the work that they've done so you can avoid plagiarism. Not doing so, intentionally or not, is misrepresenting your own work and may result in serious academic and legal ramifications. Citing articles is similar to citing books, except you need a little bit more information. In addition to the author and the date of publication, you have to get the article title, the journal title, the volume and issue number, if applicable, the page range of the article, and either the digital object identifier, known as the DOI, or the journal's homepage. This is not the same as the URL where you found the article. It is actually the website for the journal that published the article. Note that the article title is exactly like the book title where we only capitalize the first word of the title and the first word of the subtitle. However, the entire journal title is capitalized. Let's take a look at an example of an article. We can see that for this particular article, the journal title is actually listed in two places once at the very top of the page, as well as once just below that. At the very top of the page, we also see the volume, the date of publication, as well as the page range of the article. Underneath the second instance of the journal title, we have the article title, and underneath that we have the names of both the authors. The last thing you'll want to look for is the DOI, which will be at either the top or the bottom of the title page. This is preferred to the journal's homepage, so you'll want to make note of this if it exists. I was able to find mine at the bottom of the page. Now that we've gathered all of this information, we can create our citation. You'll notice that there is an ampersand between my two authors. You'll want to use that rather than typing out the word and if you have multiple authors for a specific article or book. You'll also notice that I didn't have an issue number for this particular article, so I just skipped over that particular portion. This page contains some other useful sources you might want to check out if you get stuck as you're creating your citations. Please feel free to contact me if you have any questions about citing sources using APA style.